Well, we had a uh, great bit <laughs> planned for the beginning of the show, but Adam ruined it. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, we actually got that little boy with the messed up head. Fucked up. Yes. Yeah, He's here right face. now. We might as well just have That him. kid that looks like, you know. Yeah, we said we should. Like his, his mom's birth canal was a pile of cinder blocks. <laughs> That shit happens. People get fucked up faces if their mom's pussies are too tight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. His parents named him after the worst Batman, and look what happened. <laughs> no. What? How get dare you? Here. You're trolling. No, he's the worst Batman. No. What do you mean? That was a cool Batman. Best Batman, Val? Christian Bale. Okay. Second best Batman, the cartoon one. The one from the comic That's books. fair. Okay. The original Batman. Okay. That's All the right. second one. Adam West? No. The no, no, no. actual A- comic Batman. Oh, oh, oh. What about animated series? That one's third. Damn, I put that over. Animated series was dope. Number yeah. four is Bat Kid, who turns out also racist. Really? People found that out recently. He beat cancer and then he, he beat, beat leukemia beat and, and now he's beating white genocide. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the two greatest scourges. Wow. We should have let him die. Yeah. Interesting. What, what if that was the take? Is that like Bat Kid happens now and like the whole town comes together and they're like, wow, we found out that Bat Kid's dad. You know, said Beaner in 1993 <laughs> yeah. at a fucking drive through in Tallahassee. And they're like, it's time for Bat Kid to die. And then we execute it's, him. Yeah. We shoot him in the head. We don't even, <laughs> yeah. we don't even wait Chris for Brown, cancer. Chris Brown is like, yeah, you know, I just wanted, to, I, I wanted to wish death on this child, but <laughs> like the fucking, did you see Chris Brown was like, he re- like rescinded his support of Keaton or whatever? Good. Yeah. Which is like, you like beat women. You're <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I know. I you're know. like one of the most reprehensible yeah, but fucking black women. I know they're asking. For it me. stays within his race, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So he sort of has a respect, I guess, in some ways for them for I what guess. they do. I guess. Which then maybe you should have kept the support. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. You ever think of that? Well, that's he doesn't like Keaton because he knows no matter how hard he punches, he wouldn't be able to fuck his face up any more than it already is. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> That's what Chris Brown <laughs> resents about Keaton. He looked better. That he reminds him of all of his girlfriends towards the end of a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn. You know? Fuck, yeah. It's like when you get like a really nice dessert at a restaurant and then you take a couple bites and it fucks the whole thing up. Mm. You don't even want to eat it anymore because of the presentation. Well, I've never experienced that in my life. Oh, yeah, you haven't. But Chris <laughs> Brown has. When you take a beautiful woman, mm-hmm. you know? Oh, you're calling eating a couple spoonfuls of dessert. You're saying that's like hitting a woman a well, couple times. Well, it's a times. dessert. It's what you do after sex. You know? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you bust, right? Yeah. The sure. stages of sex. We all took health class. Yeah, 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 yeah. Step mm-hmm. one, pull down your pants mm-hmm. uh-huh. in the middle of the bus. <laughs> that's uh-huh. right. <laughs> you know? Step two, insert yourself into a woman's face. Okay. Step three, bust. Oh. Step four, a little bit of ice cream sundae. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking just give her a click. I'm trying to do the click with my tongue. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Just a couple. Of so every time you have sex, that's what happens. Yeah. So there's a man like beating the shit out of a woman on the bus after fucking her face, and then some boys crying, and the mom's like, "Son, that's that's just sex. <laughs> that's people when two people sex. love each other very much." Yeah. And that young boy was Keaton, and then he oh, grew man. up to explain that situation. That's just how they fuck in their culture. <laughs> and everyone in school is like, that is the most racist shit I've ever heard. And he's like, why would you bully me for being different? For having a misunderstanding as to how people fuck in those communities. <laughs> in those communities. <laughs> I like the idea of Keaton as like the second generation racist where it's like benevolent. It's like, yeah. they don't know any better. Yeah, he yeah. was raised that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, I I mean, he, that's his take on black people. Oh, yeah, they don't yeah. know any better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of people were defending, like, Patton Oswalt was like, uh, Keaton didn't choose the parents he had, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, yes, he did. He was an angel in heaven. That's right. That's right. right. And him and Colton Burpo were deciding <laughs> which boy was going to be the racist one with the fucked up face and which one was going to come back to meet mm-hmm. Jesus. And they they chose. Wow. You know? That's true. If you say he didn't choose, then, well, guess what? You're not a very good Christian, Patton Oswalt. Mm-hmm. And that would devastate him if you heard that. <laughs> that would ruin his career if people yeah. found out. If people found out he wasn't a if Christian. If people found out that Patton Guys. Oswalt was a, a non-believing Christian. Wow. Oh, my God. When's wow. the last time you guys went to a place of worship? 
What do you oh. mean, like checkers? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was checkers rallies. Yeah, parties. About a year and a half ago, yeah. I got a big Buford. <laughs> uh, yeah. Big Buford sounds like when you get a blowjob while taking a dump. Mm, that's what it should be instead of a, a blumpkin. blumpkin. Yeah, yeah. It should be called a big, big, big Buford. <laughs> <laughs> big, that is true, dude. Yeah, that's the way a fucking trucker named yeah, Buford gets sucked off. I just got a off. big Buford on the bus, aka having sex. <laughs> oh, I'm, you also shit <laughs> <laughs> every time. <laughs> and nice, and then a nice ice cream sundae. <laughs> oh, that's part of it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh my I see. God. The vanilla like glaze is. I get that. Going to check chocolate. I just don't understand fucking. <laughs> Why would you bully somebody just for taking a dump in the middle of the bus <laughs> while fucking a girl's face and then beating the shit out of her? Just because somebody has sex different than you doesn't give you the right to make their life worse. Um, damn. <clears throat> yeah, that is honestly. Yeah, I don't support Keaton, but I would support a little kid named Beaton. You know, beating yeah. off. How about beating Skeeton? Off. Yeah, Skeeton. Skeeton and Beaton, Skeeton. two brothers. Yeah, that'd be all, a good they family. both beat off. <laughs> Dude, that's a wholesome family. <laughs> Skeeton, get in here. Skeeton, tell him Are what happened. Are you not beating off? <laughs> Skeeton, tell him what happened in the cafeteria. They poured a bunch of cum on my head. <laughs> What'd they say about your nose? They said it looks like a dick. <laughs> Dude, oh, yeah, Skeeton and Beaton both have like gonzo dick, noses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not my fault that I had my dick surgically removed and placed in where my nose should have been when I was born. And then I had a second dick grafted onto my original dick area instead of the more reasonable surgery of just adding the second dick directly to my face and leaving my normal dick as it was. Because people have different lifestyles, <laughs> and you shouldn't bully them for getting the wrong kind of dick face surgery. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I hate when that happens to me, mm -hmm. when I have the wrong kind of dick surgery. Yeah. What, I get made fun of. You got a dick and small ending? Yeah, it was too fucking fat and, and big as hell. Ugh, I hate when that happens. And they went down a couple notches. I don't understand, like, the point of this anti-bullying thing. Because it's like, you know, the complaint was, he's like, she was like, what did they say about you? And she said, don't you say my nose looks stupid? And he's like, well, they're, that's well right. it does. I yeah. don't know what to fucking tell you. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, it does. Right. You're going to have to get used to that, Keaton. That's yeah. something you're going to have to fucking You're a particularly overcome. ugly person. Yeah. You know? He looks ridiculous. All of us have fucking problems. Sure. Right. It's not like I I've, I've I've never understood that impulse of being like people shouldn't be able to say this thing. Well, that's about what's me. also weird it's about like, no, the the movement. Just become very rich and and secretly find ways to prevent those people from having a career. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, have an enemy list. Destroy their lives. Yes. Yeah, he'll never be have a healthy spite. adult. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. He'll never have spite as a motivator. Yeah. Take it out on so the So he'll never be kill successful. a homeless person. That's right. Yep. No one's ever going to miss him. No one's going to find out. Mm -hmm. You think the cops give a shit? No, you're helping. You did them a favor. You're helping. That's Keaton's one less call in a couple weeks about someone shitting in a Panera bread that you yeah, yeah, did yeah. for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's one less call about someone going to checkers at That's Panera right. bread. <laughs> yeah. You know so, what I mean? <laughs> getting a view for it. <laughs> 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 also, you're supposed to tell me that. Someone's mom can videotape them crying. Yeah, that's and the put it on the internet, like, and we're not supposed to make fun of them for that. Right. Also, yeah. that is the most embarrassing thing in the Shut entire up, world. Shut up, Adam, you bitch. <laughs> Keaton, Adam, you're one higher actually than gayer than us. <laughs> <laughs> no. Keaton, 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 Keaton is below. lower than me. No, yeah, Keaton's yeah. no I, I reject this. Now, all the black kids at school make fun of me, and there's just this one faggot named Adam that I... <laughs> all I have is he's the only person I can bully. <laughs> <laughs> Keaton, I stop just it. Wish, I wish no. there were more no, people Keaton. like Adam, so I wouldn't have to be the biggest faggot at my school. Keaton, stop it. Please. And we just... Just had maybe two atoms that I could call bug faggots. <laughs> How many atoms do you need, Keaton? I don't know. Maybe Ellen could help. <laughs> maybe we could go on Ellen and she could demand that they clone Adam so I can say faggot to two people. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't actually watch the video at all. Yeah. Of him crying? Yeah, I didn't. It's stupid. I mean, the yeah. best thing to come out of that is that guy that's like, I'm Delaney Walker. I'm a tight end for the Tennessee, Tennessee Titans. Titans yeah. <laughs> um, first of all, I wanted to read you this poem by Buddha. <laughs> always, always stay positive. And if you remember that, and it's like, that's not a poem, it's a statement. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> by Buddha. No. And then he goes, yeah, right. By bu- a poem by Buddha. By Buddha. <laughs> Noted <laughs> poet, right. Buddha. He goes, <laughs> Buddha. He goes, I'm sorry the bullying has been taking place at your school. <laughs> 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 Which, like, that's the answer to bullying is just become much bigger than other people. Yep, become a yep. big ass athlete, yeah. beat the shit out of people. That's what animals do. You know, I mean, look at all the look at all the other apes. They all look like they have Down syndrome, and they got tired of being made fun of for it. Mm. So they became very strong. Mm. You know, interesting. That's what the new War of the Planet of the Apes is about. It's about retarded apes. I guess taking, something like that. Taking. It's about Mark Wahlberg teaching bullies how mm-hmm. to stand up to other bullies. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We should have a bully Olympics. Yeah. I want to figure out who the bully was. Who's the best bully? Russia. The best bully, Dylan Klebold. Who was that? The Columbine kid. Oh no, that wasn't a good bully. He wasn't like he was kind of a bitch. No, neither of them were. They were like popular kids that were just were they like, popular? Yeah, they were like the you know, trench coat. They were kids? alternative, but they weren't like. <laughs> I mean, they weren't like, like. Nick's like that's the kind of guy that's cool. Everyone's those guys. Are cool. I mean, they were like this. <laughs> this the, the idea that they were like social outcasts that people didn't like is just bullshit. Cooked up after the shooting, because like, they were listening to people, Marilyn Manson. Help people deal with the fact that relatively normal kids can sometimes shoot up a fucking school. Right, right, right. Or mm-hmm. have an impulse to do it their whole life. You yeah. know what it was you without know? without the dangerous influences of islam <laughs> you know what it was it was uh accutane oh yeah made him go crazy yeah they were on the they were on the same acne medication i was on in high school did you ever what's the most and violent i didn't thing? shoot up a school which what, makes me a hero what's the most violent thing you ever did in high school most violent thing yeah i don't i don't know not, did you nothing ever beat really the shit out of anyone no i could i mean i wasn't I didn't. Puberty really settled in around eighteen for me. So. Yeah, Adam's I vagina finally type. unsealed. My at age my 18. my pussy <laughs> dropped when I was. Uh, <laughs> when Adam I, finally got some big ass lips on that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the pussy changes. Uh, it, does it get like? Wet? Gets I don't fatter, think we're. Right? I don't think we're fat. allowed. Gets to fatter. Even ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just raising my hand in health class. Uh, uh, Mr. Mullen, again, there's no such thing as an 11th year senior. <laughs> Second of all, please stop asking that question. Yeah. <laughs> this is geometry. <laughs> yeah, I redshirted my first 11 years. <clears throat> yeah, uh, fully grown adult here. I've had sex <laughs> probably about like 12 times <laughs> since I was supposed to graduate high school. But one question I've, I've, I've been wondering from an intellectual standpoint is <laughs> what kind of changes do the pussy do <laughs> during puberty? If any girls would like to demonstrate, if any of you maybe have not hit puberty yet, you would like to show off your pussy in front of the class for us. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not the teacher and I'm not allowed to say things like that? <laughs> well, a dick just goes from being like little and hairless to fucking bigger and hairy, yeah, so yeah, I figure yeah. that's... Mm-hmm. Well, I actually had the opposite. My dick went from... <laughs> From being hair, I had pubes when I was born, and then they all fell out. <laughs> oh wow! Ooh. Yeah, Whoa. wow! That's the f- prophecy. Cool. That's the next king of America. Yeah, yeah, you're the chosen one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the next king of America. <laughs> <laughs> if he has fucking pubes like George Washington's wig when he's born, yeah. and they fall oh, out. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Wow! And they fall out. And fucking uh, George Washington and all those guys—they had ivory pubes. Whoa! Yeah, because they their pubes would fall out because they didn't clean them, so they would get. Elephant pubes shipped in from beautiful from dark Africa, <laughs> the dark continent, black Africa, <laughs> dark ass Africa. That's what they used to call it back then. Yeah, the dark heart Africa. of darkness. Um, oh, oh, is that a book, Adam? I, a book that I never read. Yeah, yeah. let's hear more it. about books. I read it. It was pretty good. You I, did? Everybody's read it. Yeah, I didn't read it. I know what it's about. It's a good book. No, yeah. you don't. Yeah, about. I do. It's about apocalypse now. Yeah, it's yeah, about Marlon Brando. Well, it's Marlon Brando's that autobiography. That's pretty much the extent of what I know about that book is the movie. Yeah, I mean, I read it. I don't fucking remember. I remember it was like... How about a movie where uh, like a, a like an army guy goes crazy trying to get his dick sucked and it's called Apocalypse Now? Apocalypse <laughs> Now, yeah, that's Whoa. good. Yeah, you know, yeah he goes native. Yeah. He keeps, get, he keeps getting his dick sucked by the natives. Yeah, yeah. And he makes a fucking whole tribe about him getting his dick sucked. Why are we at war here when we could just be getting our dick sucked by him? <laughs> he basically did that. He went to Kurtz? Tahiti and he was like, I'm going to rape all of these people. Right, right, right. But I'm going to I'm gonna say I care about Indians, so it's cool. Yeah, it's yeah. It's chill that I'm doing Oh, it. Brando. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I remember in sociology in college, there was like a, or maybe I'm making this up, but there was like a tribe where it was like customary for little boys to suck grown men's dicks. Yeah. And yeah, that, yeah. And that was like the fucking, that's like how you showed that you're friends. 
And like these little kids kept trying to suck the the like uh, the s- sociologist cock. Uh-huh. It must have been an awkward situation. My dad told me there was a tribe in South Africa that mm-hmm. the little boys used to walk around like hold instead of holding hands, they'd hold penises. Oh wow, your yeah. dad's favorite tribe, which is really cute. <laughs> yeah, it is really. No, he was cute. working on a he was working on a documentary. Oh yeah, called Child. He was Born. definitely shooting watching some footage. a documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, like when he was in college during the summers, he'd work in, on documentary right. shoots. Yeah, yeah, documentaries. Same. Yeah, documentaries, you know, yeah. the kind you... Legally, if you call them documentaries, if it's just two African boys getting fucked, you yeah. can say that it's a part of their tribal heritage. Isn't that what they used to do with porn? They used to, like... I, used to do I would look at National Geographic as a kid and be like, fuck, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. How many like, like, long, 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 long tribal long, titties yeah. I've beat off to? <laughs> right. Yeah, dude, I, I've jacked off to Looks mad. like he's wearing overalls. <laughs> 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 this is hot. Yeah. <laughs> There was some good. There was Put some your fucking... hand over like the part where she has a disc th- going through her lip. No, I don't because yeah. I appreciate all cultures. Uh, yeah, you're right, fucking dude. racist. I, I like body Oh, you can't. That. You can't jack off. I just to pretend that, she's at a disc cool nightclub and we're both into the Matrix. You know. Yeah. I just pretend they're industrial women. <laughs> That's my thing. If you're yeah, an industrial girl, hit plugs. me up. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're a woman in her early forties who still listens to hard style techno, industrial music. Right? Um, no, not no. Really. Isn't that what it's like? No, that sounds like a train and then someone being raped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Some shit like that? No, Ramstein was uh, <laughs> Du Hast. Hmm. It was uh, dun, 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 Yeah, that's basically what I was just doing. No, it's different. It's almost exactly what I was doing. You were doing like a jungle kind of thing? No, I wasn't. About instead of Du Hast, it Poo ass. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Poo ass dick. <laughs> I think we got a number one gold record right um, there. Thanks. Well, another thing I used to beat off to was there was a, a Greek magazine called The the Mailman is what it translated uh-huh. to. Yeah, you yep. used to check off no to the guy. Right, no, 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 no. There was I never Mailman. Exactly there was never, what you're going. <laughs> there was never meant. For whatever reason, that's just what it was called. All right, but next, Nick, Greek, what did you Greek magazines let... You show titties. Oh sometimes. yeah, yeah, like uh, yeah, because they were glamour yeah, models. Exactly. Yeah, and it would be like advertisements for like toast or some. Yeah, and it would just be titties for in, some reason. In England, like on like the second page of like the regular newspaper, like girls' tits out. Yeah, it was awesome. So shouts out to the Tachidromo for it came with. It was like the magazine of the Greek newspaper that my dad used to get before mm-hmm. he just stopped reading, and uh, so shouts out to them for helping me beat off. I still jack off to my first blowjob <laughs> from time to time to just remembering wow, it. Wow, to having sex with a child, huh? No, I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you still think about a little girl's mouth sucking yeah. a dick. From a newborn. No, she was infant. actually older, dude. She was 18. I was 16. Oh. Yeah, so no, that's check and mate. That's not, so you oh, think about on, a 16 go, year old boy? Let's go to the documents You think quick? about a 16 year old boy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, here it is. Here's the record. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep, it was a little boy. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. Adam. I'm, but the documents don't lie. Either way, you're thinking of a I'm teenage I'm so glad we got this file. Did you go through the microfiche? Yeah. 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 I went through the yeah. microfiche. You look at your dick. <laughs> is this what it smells like? And yeah. Its size? Yeah, it smells Woo! like fish. Little sardine ass dick. Because all the pussy. Because that's what a. Pussy, no, because it's rotting. Fish smell. Because it's rotting, oh, and you so have a you've small been, infection. You've been Listen. sucking your own dick, is what you mean to say. Yeah, your mouth, which is also a vagina. <laughs> That's right. If your mouth was a vagina, would you not try to suck your own dick? I mean, my mouth isn't a vagina, and I still suck my own dick. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. <laughs> I, I've been. I, I've told you, I've been off the hand beating off system for. That's right. Like a oh, year. You're a self suck guy. I've been. Yeah, I've been living off my own cum. Oh. It's not as gross if it comes fresh from the tap. That's, right. That's true. <laughs> so the problem, you I, that? a lot of the, the a lot of the reason why people enough. don't like the taste of cum is because it's on your hand first, which is kind of sure. gross. You wouldn't want to eat anything out all of the bite. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just like how milk tastes better if you're sucking it from the other. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't it taste really. Bad? Well, I actually, I got a little funnel that I put in my dick hole and I pour oh. a gallon of milk in there. Oh, nice. It's Mark Ripito came up with this. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, starting yeah. yeah. That's why you squat is to increase your hip mobility, and when your hip mobility is good, you can stick your own dick in your mouth and suck milk out of your your own penis. And this is what we refer to as the fundamentals of strength. 
Damn, imagine having just balls full of milk. <laughs> just fucking big ass, like yeah. volleyball sized nuts full of <laughs> full of milk, dude. That'd that be, would be hilarious. <laughs> That'd be really funny. You could just like a like a clown's uh uh flower mm-hmm. that shoots seltzer or whatever, you could just yeah, shoot yeah. milk out of your dick and people. Your friends? <laughs> Yeah, you know how much I would love to be able to pull my cock out, press a little button, and just spray no, you with squeeze, milk. You squeeze one of the nuts, mm. and then it spray out of the. I thing. would love to just be able to piss on people and get away with it. Yeah, that's I guess that's what we're talking about, basically. Don't, don't people that get <laughs> sex changes have a nut that is a pump? Yeah, they do. Yeah, oh, that sounds awesome. Some of them, I mean, because like with phalloplasty, it's not like one uniform surgery. You know, there's like yeah. different doctors that are like, like, if I had to make a fake dick, how would I do it? And they all have different methods. Oh, that's there's fun. different styles. Yeah, that's what medicine it's, it's, is. It's is weird. Missing. Like people forget that like any kind of surgery, like it's Plastic not like surgery. you know, it's like hu- human beings weren't engineers. Right. It's an abomination against God. Every well, surgery. human beings You're weren't Christian scientists. W- weren't engineered. So it's not like a car where if a part's broken, there's one way to fix that right. part. Right. It's like there's like different methods you that people tried. And there's one that seems to be like the best. So yeah. for something. You know, as nascent as like making a penis out of a vagina, it's like one guy's like, "All right, well, we're gonna cut the foot off and yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, roll it up like a boy. We're gonna make a necklace out of toes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just gotta get some. There's all kinds of different ways. You <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, you yeah. Use a horse hair. You know, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what about a horse dick? That'd be cool. Yo, a big ass horse. Have you dick? seen a horse <laughs> a brown dick? Ass? It's got uh-huh. fucking spots. On yeah. it. <laughs> Like a nice white with uh, yeah. chocolate spots. <laughs> I would love a horse dick. Dude. A small horse's head. dick. Yeah. You can't have a big ass horse. Horses that's too dicks big. are so scary. I know. That's why you got to find a Remember little ass Mr. horse. Hands like a toy video? pony. Like I get yeah, fucked yeah, yeah, in yeah. the ass. He died, right? The next day. Yeah. The horse goes in his ass, and then the horse goes like all the way in his ass, and the guy's like, ooh. You know, it oh, goes, no. It basically, like, tore all of his organs. You know, imagine your kids watching that video. Because yeah. wasn't he like they play a closeted the funeral, horse fucker? And they're like, Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's musical guest, Ramstein. Poo, poo ass, poo ass dick. It's just you getting fucked to death by a horse. They're like, he wasn't a good father in life, but in death he's been so much worse. Why did he? Why did he put this in his will that we have to watch him get fucked by a horse to death at his funeral here at Checkers? Can you imagine that your dad dies and then like millions of people watch the video of how he died and it was yeah. getting just absolutely railed by a horse? That would be pretty funny. You're right, I guess. Yeah, I don't think that guy was a father. <laughs> I think he was. No, he wasn't. I'm pretty sure he was, man. And that's because I said it just two, 30 seconds ago. Was he? Wait, he was. It was it. Where was it? Like Oregon or Washington, right? Yeah, it was in Las Vegas somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to remember the guy's name. Uh, yeah. I, can't, I think it was Moshe Crocodile Friedland. Dundee Friedland. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> kangaroo Friedland. <laughs> kangaroo Friedland. Yeah, there's a video of Adam's oh. dad getting fucked by a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> it tries, it Put starts, it deeper! It starts, it Too far! <laughs> it starts as one of those fighting a kangaroo videos, <laughs> but the kangaroo beats him up yeah, so yeah, bad yeah. he starts raping your, him. Your mom's like, <laughs> Man, go, uh, Richard, please don't do this and he's like he won fair and square <laughs> <laughs> there's a code <laughs> I leave my code he's sucking off the kangaroo to get him hard <laughs> <laughs> oh damn dude it's gonna be funny when your parents finally like discover this show <laughs> They couldn't understand. They tried listening. They couldn't understand it. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah, this clip in particular (laughs) makes no sense. (laughs) Kangaroo, wrong country. (laughs) He fought and lost to a kangaroo, and then he fucking sucked him off and fucked him. Yeah, the Marquis of Queensbury rules. (laughs) You lose to the kangaroo, you gotta fuck it. (laughs) Fuck yeah, dude! That's what combat. That's the that's circle a gentleman's. Life, dude. That's gentleman's combat. That's, that's right. circle life. That's that's, right. that's that's a scene in the new upcoming live action Lion King. Is it mm. live action? It is. I no, don't know. we've we've talked about this. I don't think it is. How yeah. would they do that? I think it's gonna be With CGI, puppets? like on Broadway. Yeah, but then why not just fucking watch Broadway? You yeah. know what I mean? Well, the, it's a movie, so everyone can watch it. You know, in Broadway, the genie's not even fucking blue. 
Aladdin? Yeah, he's fucking just black, some, dude. Some regular guy. Got some piece of shit black guy. Well, I didn't say that. around pretending to be blue. <laughs> I didn't what? say all that. <laughs> Stop, what? But Stop complaining about the race of the genie. It should be blue. <laughs> Put him in blue man fucking group makeup. What the Is fuck? Is he a wisecracker? So what? You want like them to cast a dead Indian? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but I guess. Is that what a genie is? No, no. I mean, Stav that's, wants. That's, a I'm real, trying to think of who. Stav wants a real blue. genie. No, blue man group makeup. Oh, or, or, you know, dip him in that. It shit. actually, it should just be Robin Williams' corpse. Mm-hmm. He hung himself, so you know he's actually blue. Blue, now. yeah. What if he was like, ooh, what if I could look like the genie? Like a marionette? Yeah. You just have his corpse. He's like already got strings puppet. on him. That's Fuck true. It. You got one string. He turned You're himself. saving money. <laughs> <laughs> he turned the main himself string is there. Into a blue puppet <laughs> so that he could he could play the genie in the live action Broadway. <laughs> Did you guys see that movie he made before he died, World's Greatest Dad? Uh, is that the one where he like, shoots people? No, nah, he plays an Australian guy that... Sucks off, sucks off the <laughs> animal, yeah. No, he he plays a dad whose son dies from autoerotic asphyxiation. So he oh, plays an Australian guy who sucks <laughs> off <the animal. laughs> Do they say what the son was thinking about? Yeah. He was like trying to jack off to porn and then what he accidentally kind of died. I don't know. Wait, is this real? It's a real movie. So you think this is like a Joker situation where the movie, the role killed him? Yeah. Maybe. For sure. He just and it was so you also, think he was trying to beat off? No, he got diagnosed with Parkinson's, and he was like, "Fuck this, I don't want to live with that oh, shit." Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. So you don't think? And he had depression. So just too. to be clear, you don't you think what, what Nick I, said I was I want to have Parkinson's disease, like Mark What's Wahlberg. That? You know? Yeah, like, yeah. You, just, you get uncontrollably jacked and pissed. Mm, you know? Yeah. But Keep in talking like about nine eleven, in a how good guy gone way. different. Yeah. I got the rock now. Do you think Mark Wahlberg could have prevented 9-11 for real? Of course. 100%. Yeah. And people are just mad at him for saying that because they know it's true. Right. <laughs> would have been yes. a good-ass movie, too. Yeah. Damn. If we would have had... He would have become the president of the United States. If I go back in time, what I would do is give him a, a strap a GoPro to his head, give him a couple of box cutters. I don't know even, if they had that even technology in 2001. I'd, we'd bring it back with us. We'd find it. Yeah. I'd give him a couple box cutters to God even damn, score. Can you imagine having to like go back to 2000 and you just don't have access to a GoPro? <laughs> how you don't have a smartphone. Yeah. How much that would suck? They say a, <laughs> in a world where we can't just carry around a camera on our yeah. head all the time and watch shitty, weird, like yeah. shaky ass videos. Watch someone that else that ride a bicycle. <laughs> yeah. Watch some 40-year-old banker that's destroyed people's lives <laughs> ride around Denver on his fucking bicycle. Can you imagine having to live in that world without yeah, that they technology? They send us back to fucking stop 9-11 and we Thank just God get I so have, sad that yeah. we don't have GoPros. Thank we forget. God I have my GoPro. <laughs> that's right. My invaluable GoPro <laughs> that I could never live without. I I've, I tape every day. Yeah. GoPro? Mm -hmm. Being what, off. Just making breakfast? <laughs> just, just to have a record. Kind of like police have body cams. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's what I do. Did you oh, watch that court shooting? ordered? No. That no, shooting in Mesa, Arizona? No, which one? Oh, my God, dude. They just, like, straight up execute a guy. Oh, my God, that was horrible. Oh, I, didn't, I couldn't Felix, watch the whole thing. The one that Felix called a pussy? That cop? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. They, he had a gun that said, you're fucked. On the gun? Yeah, it was, like, inscribed. Oh, my God. He's, he probably he's probably has some chill views towards black people, I would guess, also. Yeah, but he killed a white guy, so it's... I like, know. I, I mean, he's a murderer. I don't care if he's racist or not, you know? That's the thing. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying like, is, what I'm saying is, this is the kind of guy. That, yeah, of course he's a murderer. Who knows? He's probably. Fu I mean, would you be surprised if he has if he's killed other people? Probably not. I mean, like cops, fucking. They can cover that shit all the yeah, time. Yeah, but he didn't mm -hmm. like secretly murder. Like, there would be a record of it. There's always a record of like a police involved shooting. Yeah, I guess if it's not like he's going discharges. around just shooting people all day long, and they're like, ah, damn. They found out about <laughs> right, this. Right, right, right. It's like a guy taking people's lunches. It's like, yeah. there keeps being shootings around this precinct. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's a fucking horrible person, and uh, he'll probably get away with it, right? You think? Uh, the Walter Scott guy just got in trouble. Yeah. I feel like the first cop that killed a guy. But that guy, was, that guy a... shot a guy in the back and lied about it, right? Yeah, he no. did. He lied about it. There's a question about, like, you know, the racial aspect of it that people are asking. And it's like, I don't really know, you know. It doesn't matter. He killed it does, Yeah, it doesn't someone. matter. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I mean, a part of me was like, thank God it wasn't a black guy. <laughs> you know? Because that would have been... That would How horrific that would be. Because that one's like so much worse than the Philandro Castile one. 
Yeah, it is. But they straight that, up like that murdered so bad. That man. Yeah, I mean they did the same thing with Philando. Just they, the they, guy they wasn't did. a big a dickhead about yeah, it. Yeah, they did. That's but the only did, difference. No, the Philando one. Or you don't. It starts off. And he's already shot. Right. That's so true. you don't know. That's true. That's true. You don't know what happened. I mean, yeah. I, I agree that they murdered him and like that, they right? absolutely that event, murdered him. That event, like it tells you everything you need to know about the fucking NRA because they were like, <laughs> right, right, right. Everybody's <laughs> there's two sides to every story. Yeah. Why right? wouldn't they go to bat for like a licensed concealed carry guy? Because he's black. Because he's black. Yeah. Again, that's yeah. like all, all you all you fucking need to know about that organization. That yeah. and uh, Charlton and Heston. does not stand for what I thought it did. <laughs> <laughs> I made that mistake, and it's like, well, is it really that racist of me, considering right. their track record? That's right. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know I do that with every organization that has an N in the name. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't we, even want to know why, what, what I thought Nintendo stood for. <laughs> <laughs> why do you think Nick's not allowed on the NBA podcast, guys? Yeah. Why? You know why. Because of what he thinks the N stands for. Yeah, it's it, NBA stands for Nick's Black Association. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was talking <laughs> about his own and... name this whole time. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Nick's Black Association. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing <laughs> <laughs> Nick's black associations is just what you associate <laughs> The things you associate with black people <laughs> Oh fuck man Well uh, <clears throat> You know we haven't dis- we haven't discussed It's our baby boy's birthday today yeah. I'm about to say the NAACP It's the NNNCP <laughs> <laughs> You know NNN Colored CP. people Yeah yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> And I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what it stands for, but maybe some of the smarter audience members <laughs> can figure it out. Uh, nice, necessary, not bad. Mm-hmm. Colored people. I'm just That's giving right. us some cover. Yeah. Um. I'm yeah. Just giving us some cover here. It's guys. Nick's uh, Nick's 29th birthday today, everyone. Mm-hmm. So how from, does it feel? From all the fans to you, Nick. A happy, many, many happy returns. Is that? Do you speak for all the fans? They asked me Cats, to say. It. Ernest is throwing up underneath the couch. <laughs> it's for your birthday. <laughs> yeah, that's a little present for you. <clears throat> there he goes. Oh, come on, Ernest! It sounds weird this time. It sounds fucked up. He loves throwing up, dude. Yeah, he's such a should, good boy. We should kill him. <laughs> he's such a good boy. <laughs> he is a good pull boy. Him on, we should kill, put him out of his misery. I feel good for him doing the things that he likes. You think throwing up is what he likes to do? I bet you it's it's fucking pain. Every I don't day. think Ernest does anything he doesn't like doing. I think he's just trapped in his fucked up body, dude. Yeah. So you're saying he's trans? He's trans. Yeah. Yeah. How do you know if your pet has body dysmorphia? Oh, what the fuck was that? Sound? Dysphoria. He was like, eh. yeah. <laughs> that sounded like a guy crying, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what if Ernest is about to turn back into the man he was? That's that, those mm. are the sounds that Ernest makes. You man, know? a man crying, a grown mm-hmm. man crying. Yeah. Have you seen well, it? what what should we do tonight? We going to Dave and Buster's or what? Oh, I got some Dave and Buster's for you. My cock. Wow, Selma Hayek, Hayek, right? In an oh, Harvey thing. Weinstein. Yeah. Wait, I saw they spelled that. her name Salma. That's her name. It's not Selma. No, no, that's the place where MLK. I know. Have I you just not known her name for like yeah. thirty years? Yeah, dude. How did you beat off to her? <laughs> I don't know. I, did. well, I didn't read. Yeah, you I would... don't read while I jack off. Well, how did you even Google what search you, your name? A, prof- a college professor? Yeah, I am. What are you? Some kind of yep. c- college guy? <laughs> yeah. I just saw that movie, um, <laughs> Cruel Intentions, and the black guy in the movie says to Selma Blair's character, "He's like, I'm writing a musical right now." On Martin Luther King, and Selma Blair turns to him and she says, "He's my favorite." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what I just watched? Behi- <laughs> Behind the Candelabra. Oh yeah, yeah, I love yeah, that. Yeah, with my mom, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my mom came to What's visit. What's his name? Chris, the the uh, lover. What's yeah, I name? guess I don't remember. What's the lover? Matt Damon. Name? Yeah, yeah, but what? I don't remember. I think Chris, but I don't remember. Oh, shit, no, I was I fucking forget. high as shit. Liberace invented libertarianism, right? Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, stay he, out of my bedroom. He's actually Ron and Paul. Stay out of my wallet. He's Ron Paul's dad. It's Ron Paul. It's Liberace Paul. Ron Paul. Yeah. Rand Paul. Um, yeah, he was stunned, dude. He was coming through with like big ass minks and like 
Yeah, yeah. Bentleys and shit. Yeah. He fucking ruled. He and so he was getting uh, getting boys plastic surgery to, to look, look like him. To imagine, look like him. <laughs> imagine wanting to fuck. I wish I was a big fancy gay instead of a self loathing closeted one. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so That'd cool. Be not a lot nicer. Well, he was self loathing and closeted. He uh. he never admitted he was gay, and he died of AIDS. And he like the and he. Well, ma- I mean, he was. Super gay. He was gay as hell. He was but he, just never, never publicly said he was right. Gay. And he would sue newspapers that said he was gay. And he like uh, he his he also hated. He thought all gay people were going to hell except him. He said he had a vision that God came down to him, and because he was so good at playing piano, <laughs> he, he was getting into heaven. Like like there's a program if you're an exceptional yeah. gay guy. I guess God needed a guy with AIDS who's really good at piano. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's the thing about heaven. You bring the AIDS with you. you know? the, two, the two gay guys that got passes were Liberace and Roy Cohn. All fags mm. go to heaven. Starring Burt Reynolds <laughs> and Dom DeLuise. I do love Dom. Dom DeLuise. Yeah, he's great. Playing Itchy in that movie. Mm. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yep. He was probably my first fat inspiration. My life has been a, a, it's Not a series Chris of Not Chris Farley? No, it was he was before Chris Farley. Dom DeLuise was one of your heroes. <laughs> one of my as, a, as a fat child, yeah, no joke. Once in I realized, movie. what did you even know? Dom DeLuise in from? Mafia? All Dogs Go to Heaven. Uh, but he's not. But fat he wasn't in that. He's just like a wiener dog. Uh, he's in some other shit, dude. I was very aware of Dom DeLuise as a little kid. A Mel Brooks movie. More what than Mel Chris Brooks Farley. Chris Farley was later. I'm telling you, Dom DeLuise was the first one. Chris Farley was the first fat guy where I was like, wow, it's cool to be fat. And and I have very fat memories attached to Dom, uh, to Chris Farley because my mom was a waitress at a Greek restaurant, Ikados, mm-hmm. and on Saturday nights, if I waited long enough, she would bring trays of leftover fried calamari. And you'd watch SNL. And I would watch SNL yeah. and eat fucking fried... Damn, should we get calamari for your birthday, Nick? <laughs> no. You wanted seafood... Recently, you want to get some seafood? Yeah, I don't know what we should do. Let's get a, Let's get a fat dicked lunch, a big dicked lunch, maybe with our cocks hanging out. Yeah, I got some. I got errands to run today. I might postpone shit till the weekend. Bitch, Let's you're go a to damn Peter bitch. Luger's steaks house. Yeah, we should get steaks. We Why should we get steaks to celebrate? Come on, for your, your birth, all the time. our success. I, I got, I got shit I got to do today. I'm sorry. All right, fuck it. We got we got we got business moves we got to make and I got to handle all that. That's of it what at three thirty. The two of you are mongoloids. <laughs> I can. I'm not okay. Work. First of all, do not use that word. Oh yeah, who got do in trouble? not use that? Who got word? in trouble for that? Felix. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> and someone else said it recently. Mongoloids funny, dude. What the fuck? Well, who, who got mad at Felix for saying mongoloid? He called the 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 murder cop a uh, mongoloid. Oh and, my fucking and god! And people were like, "Excuse me." Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> wow, dude. really? There's no place on the web for people who talk like this. <laughs> I am the president of the DSA's being retarded community. <laughs> I won the election by guessing the correct amount of jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> and now I demand that Felix step down from Chapo Wap House. From Chapo Wap House. From Chapo Wap House. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to say <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> Damn, dude, you can't even call a murderer a mongoloid anymore. Yeah, it's offensive to Arthur. What are we going to do next? Get cancel Devo, you know? Yep. Get rid of the Devo show? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Get rid dude. of the annual DSA Devo show <laughs> just because of a word? That's right. He's a, what well, how's that song go? Mongoloid. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. He's a mongoloid. <laughs> Y'all know that Devo song. You know that mongoloid song uh, about the love yeah, shack. Yeah. <laughs> mongoloid good. <laughs> da, 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 da. Mongoloid. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> that's every Devo song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mongoloid. <laughs> mongoloid. <laughs> mongoloid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any other Devo songs. We're dressed like science guys. Um, yeah, they're they're cool. The band. Mongoloid is a mongoloid place <laughs> where <laughs> we mongoloid, can be mongoloid. Those are every, every fucking late new wave song, you know. Mm-hmm. Those are the only two I know. You know, 
You know what I mean? Manga Lois. Let me talk about how the fucking B fifty twos and the Dead Kennedys are the same band. Yeah, we've talked. Yeah, yeah. Jello has the same voice as that guy. Mm-hmm. You know, he named himself after Bill Cosby because he loves rape. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Jello, cool. California. No means yes. Uber yeah, Alice. Fuck! What was Dom DeLuise in that I remember as a child? <laughs> Shut up! I, th- I love that you, you you don't know. You were just aware of a fat I was. man who had a. Career. I think my dad, mafia. I think my dad was making fun of me for being fat and, and a comfortable oh, Dom DeLuise. Look so at this Dom DeLuise. No, my dad. Motherfucker. My dad's not fat. Although he was fat. He well, is kind of fat now, right? He was fat. He had a heart attack. Then he lost a bunch of weight and started like getting his dick sucked. Getting some strange in the wood shop. Oh, no. Oh, so that joke you do is a lie that he didn't get his life back together. No, that is the joke. Well, he got in shape. Right. He did the opposite of getting his life together. He just fucking... Well, he started cheating because he got in shape, which is like... I mean, look, I can't blame him. I wouldn't want to be married to your mom either. Hey, whoa, whoa, brother. My mom's a wonderful, caring woman. You know? who Would you fuck your mom? Um, If I was was not No, right now. Would you fuck your mom? Yeah. Um, hmm, that's interesting. I would not, but if yeah, I were why you can you guys, blame your father? Okay, because she's Nick, my mother. Nick, would you fuck your that mom? That doesn't make any sense. Would you would fuck, you your, fuck mom? your mom? No, but my mom doesn't fuck anybody. Adam, okay. would you fuck your mom? Absolutely. You see, okay, I would also then. We would all fuck Adam's mom. <laughs> she have. needs. We need to find a cure, and <laughs> that's the first step. <laughs> try that. Um, Just try it. My you don't mo- know if it's going to work, but try it. <laughs> it's Lorenzo's oil. Yeah. They, the, the first cure he tries is fucking his son. <laughs> <laughs> I really remember that movie a lot from as a child, too, for whatever reason. I watched it a bunch. Isn't that... Uh, who's in that? Richard Busey? I mean, Richard Busey. Gary Busey. Busey. No, no, the other guy that looks like a handsomer Gary Busey. Nick Nolte? Nick Nolte, yeah. right? He's in yeah. Lorenzo's oil, isn't he? How about Dick Salty, you know? Mm-hmm. And he's a rapist pirate. <laughs> Arr, word. <laughs> Arr, A-P. Dick Salty, baby. Dick Salty, there you go. That's the <coughs> character for the show. Arr, me love to rape. Don't say the R word. Don't say it. I'm a, I'm a retarded pirate. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm the head of the... The Caribbean DSA. Anybody that says the R word isn't allowed any of the rubies that we stole from the natives. This is what I was saying earlier. There should be dick communism, where if you have a big ass dick, mm-hmm. two inches of it gets sliced off yeah. and How given about this? to someone with a small we dick. We split up the pussy for everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's also everybody good. Everybody get mm-hmm. a piece of the pussy. Yes, you know pussy communism and dick communism. Yeah. You no, know, but I'm no, not dick com- Everybody get no, their own see? dick. Everybody no. did stay the same. No, no. no hold on, Slick. <laughs> Let's do this. I've been I'm thinking sorry. about this my whole 70s life. 70s communist black Let's guy. What, <laughs> Let's hear what Andre Cousin <laughs> says to say. Yeah, Andre's, co- Andre's radical cousin. <laughs> yeah, we just convince all the women to give up the pussy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's not about wealth inequality. Because mm-hmm. the only, only reason people care about money is so they can get that pussy. Woo! Mm. Preach. So you, if you look at the underlying, you know, tap, I call it tapital. <laughs> I call it tapitalism. <laughs> because because you're trying ass. to tap it all. Oh, tap it all. Yeah. You're trying to tap it all. Das Tapital. Mm-hmm. It's a book. What are you looking for? Put your fucking, stop doing that. You're you're distracting me. Sorry. The communist vagin bresto. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Getting oh, the pussy yes. in the titties. Yeah, the commonest vagin bresto. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite book, dude. Yeah. It's just a bunch of pictures of fucking different titties. Yeah. And pussies. It's going to be great when this, like, communism is cool bullshit dries up in the next year and a half. Yeah, there's probably a has. fair amount of people that are just doing it because it's the cool shit to do, right? I mean, that's literally everybody. It's both of you guys. No. We, I've never you. been a communist. You joined the DSA? Yeah, because I I think that shit's good, but I'm not. A what communist. shit? You haven't gone to a single meeting. <laughs> you don't do yeah, anything. I'll give them some money and support. That's better than not doing shit. I give yeah. my money to places that I like fully understand what they're doing, like PlayStation. Nah, no, work, see, no, that's the problem with the Nick world. Gives a lot of money to charity. I don't give a lot of money. Yeah, you to charity. do. <laughs> no, not not comparatively. Compared to us, you do. Okay, probably. I give I give to I've given to two different people that have stopped me on the streets. 
just because I feel that's guilty. That's not charity. Those are homeless no, people. No, no, no. Like, we have to sign up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I give a lot. It's <laughs> tax deductible. <laughs> I'm just writing down guy that smelled like shit. On the fucking, <laughs> on my, I on feel my like a real guys. dummy, but I gave Keaton's mom $10,000. <laughs> oh, yeah. Only after I found out she was raped. Yeah, of, course, of course. Of course. Of course. It's like, now you better spend this on swastika tattoos. <laughs> of course. Is Not Amnesty International welcome. good? Um, they no. no, they're bad. Anything Fuck. with international in the name God is bad. God damn it. Am- give them well, money. Any, yeah. You sh- um, Except the International Truck Company. International House of Pancakes? International House of Pancakes. I give yep. to the International House of Pancakes, yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into them for like... Amnesty I've got a tab over there. I've got a tab at IHOP. <laughs> Amnesty International are bad. I'm Nasty International. Yeah. Good. What's that? It's like <laughs> just a bunch of sluts. I would just to see if I get <laughs> nice. audited. It would be very funny to put down on my taxes that I gave a million dollars to retarded kids. Turn <laughs> 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 in my tax return. <laughs> just deduct everything. <laughs> <laughs> you have evidence? I don't know where they went. Yeah. They all look the same. I don't know which one was. They don't give you receipts. <laughs> yeah. 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 I have retarded. a drawing. Yeah. I have a drawing in fucking feces. <laughs> Will you take this <laughs> yeah. as a receipt? <laughs> I help retarded kids, so, you know, no one's allowed to criticize me. Absolutely. Look, I just think you should be in it. Too. Republicans are winning because idiots get to just, you know, support and not have to think. And that's what I am. I'm a very liberal, dumbass motherfucker. I don't want to. I just know what I believe in. And, you know, other people can figure it out. I'll give you a little scratch. You know, let's get some universal health care. Mm-hmm. You know, let's get some sexy ass refugees over here. I'm starting to think universal health care is a bad idea. Really? I want to die, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it for me. Yeah. I want to go out quick. I want to fucking. I want my heart to explode. At, you know, this year preferably. Let's do a bunch of coke till we have heart attacks. It'd be perfect. Get m- married to some French African woman. Oh fuck yeah, dude! You know that'd be awesome. When this ball, like super dark ball. Oh you know yes. Then no one can say I'm racist because I had her shipped over here to be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you want to use permission. that exact <laughs> <laughs> terminology. <laughs> yeah, They're like we can send her on a plane. I'm like, it has to be a ship. <laughs> no, a wooden one. <laughs> And that shit better have a basement. <laughs> oh, God. We're going <laughs> to... Get, get my bitch over here on the other side. <laughs> um, uh, and then I write an article about it on the Good Man Project. Dude, I fucking... You know that website, the Good Man Project? No, no. That? that's like, a real thing. Yeah, it's like how to be a cuck bitch and Ugh. respect your daughter. Oh, God. I actually don't even know what it's about. I've, like, glanced at it once or twice, but... Somebody had to display name the Gay Man Project. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Which is so simple. Salute. It's perfect. You know what it is? It's an elegant solution. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's exactly. It's the same mm-hmm. beginning letter. You know, just A Y uh, instead of O O D. You know, that would have been better if instead of the final solution, they came up with an elegant solution to the Jewish question. <laughs> right. You know. Man, what would that well, I think Al Qaeda is working on that right now. Um, they Al-Qaeda's offer. Done. Or they, whatever, whichever one. They, they offer, They're actually coming back a little bit. They offer uh, $20 to any Jew that kills another Jew. <laughs> <laughs> that is an elegant solution. Yeah. It would cost less than the Holocaust. It costs probably 100 bucks. Yeah. yeah. You'd be left with like four Jews. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's Not good. Bad. Comedy, you need comedy writers and mm-hmm. guys to make bagels. Yeah. Exactly. So you, you save like 20 mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And that would be an elegant solution. <laughs> that would be an elegant solution <laughs> to our the biggest problem of our world. <laughs> no, I'm saying back then. I'm not a problem now. Wow, well, that's people don't consider that. I don't know if this is a hack bit, but like, have you ever considered that maybe Hitler killed all the bad Jews? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why people are like, "How did that happen?" It's like you didn't know which ones he was talking about. <laughs> they got rid of them. <laughs> we were left with the good ones. That is true. Technically, I'm not sure. Yeah, you don't know. You never met them. I didn't meet them. Yeah. That's true. And, you know, Israel. Well, really, you know? everyone who went off to those camps could have been the one that's like, I'm stealing candy from a baby and no one can stop <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> and all the other ones that are like, can we just write jokes for TV? Yeah. Those are the ones that they were like, you, we'll give these guys a pass for a little bit. Well, we know one of them of who died. Russia. We had a diary of one of them who died. Yeah, Eli Wiesel. No, who he fucking lived. who was a right? He was a rapist. He grabbed he a rapist. Ass. <laughs> yeah. He grabbed a girl's ass. So can we trust anything he ever wrote? I don't yeah. think so. No, he's done. Well, you got to consider this too. Is Anne Frank seems like she was like pretty normal or whatever, but she lived in 
Amsterdam. Not uh-huh. a single mention of like fucking yeah. smoking loud, you know, Legalize getting fucking loud, it. hitting big doinks. So she was probably like the least chill person. She was in very unchill, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, I bet she loved tattling girl. on people for smoking weed oh. and for hiding from the Nazis. Yeah, she tattled on herself. She got caught, right? Yeah, that sucks, dude. She's dead. Poor Anne. Poor Anne. Yeah, Sav. We on the live show on Monday, we were talking about the diary of Anne Frank about the part where she feels her own titties, and then Sav got really. That's You're pretty. like, fuck, I should have read that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know there was so much beating off in the Diary of Anne Frank. That's literally the only part I remember. There was that and then the period, when she got her period. Yeah, which yeah. I also Damn. thought was hot, dude. I thought that was sick. So how much space did they have to, like, maneuver around? It's so funny when you're, like, it was 12, like an any addict. mention of, like, sexuality in any context, you're like, I have to jack off. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, right. Right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn, my cousin's reading, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. I'm about to beat off. I got that from the library, and... I like then had a bunch of questions for my parents, and then my mom brought me back to the library and like yelled at them, scolded them. Yeah, my my son. Fuck, <clears throat> sorry, I lost the voice. My son will never no, it's like- learn about women, women's pussies. He will only use them <laughs> as a sexual object. Yeah, she taught me well, dude. She taught you just take the pussy. She said when when. You come up on a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to take what's yours. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what your dad said? That's what my mom said. Oh, oh, and your mom. No, my dad actually told me to respect. My mom told me to respect women. My dad did not. I don't remember my parents ever giving me like a gendered talk about anything. Actually, I never got a sex talk. I never got any kind of like... Oh, my parents would, yeah, my parents were that. always like just like... Please stop being a piece of shit to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it was never like treat women with respect. It was like stop fucking you know throwing rocks at other children. <laughs> <laughs> Start there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We we'll, yeah. If he can ever have an intimate relationship with another human being, that's a win. <laughs> let's, let's not get into women yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a bad. I'm still a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, but come on, some things never change. Sometimes you meet other bad guys. Yeah, they start a podcast <laughs> with them. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you become yep. the world's preeminent. You know, a, 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 a voice of authority on being a bad guy. Oh yeah, that's us, man. Yeah, we're all wearing leather fucking jackets on motorcycles right now. Yeah. What's the best type of noodle? That type of noodle? Uh, I think I asked that in Stav's immediately. Like, I like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I can yeah. really get into All this. Right. Well, I, Personally, I'm really getting into fucking Chow Fun. Yeah, okay. that's a good call. No, the big. I was fat gonna say wise. Asian to begin with. Asian for sure. I think you know, they udon or as ramen. much as I love a nice fucking udon is Italian like, is a little too heavy, but I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, I will say a Chow I like Fun, a, a rice noodle. noodle. I like a. I a, like a, like a silvery a flat, rice noodle. Thin. Rice noodle, I mm-hmm. like that. Well, like like vermicelli? Thin, yeah. No, 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 that's too thin. I'm talking flat, wide, but thin. Like chow fun. Mm-hmm. A good lo mein noodle, a good ramen noodle, executed Delish. correctly. Delish. Uh, I will take that over pasta. I don't know. I've gotten less, I've gotten away from Italian pasta and Italian noodles in my old age, and I've, mm-hmm. you know, I've migrated towards Asiatic noodles. Um,. Mm-hmm. Jeez, let's see what other kind of noodles are there. Do, do Indians have noodles? It's mostly rice, no, right? No, they, they don't. don't. Really have a noodle. They, they never come back that. as a noodle if you fuck up. Oh, shit. That's the lowest level. <laughs> I, would, I, I gotta look at a chart of the whole caste system. Because I forget. Mm. You know? Yeah. It's like the doo-doo people yep. at the bottom. But mm-hmm. then underneath them is like cow. And then yeah, the cow's number like monkey one. And then butterfly. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. So if you're in the lowest caste, can you fuck a cow? No. No, no. That's why cows lower. are sacred because it's like I think cow is like directly under untouchable, or maybe they're better than untouchables because you can fuck untouchables. Yeah, no but problem. you can't eat them. You just can't touch them. I don't think they can eat cows. They don't eat cows. No. No. Mm-mm. What's at the top? The Brahma. Yeah. The Brahma bull. That's Brahmins. what. That's what the Rock Boston, used to call himself. Boston guys. Yeah. <laughs> Mister Feeney. Guys. Is that what Brahmin? Yeah, what is that? Boston what? Brahmins. That's yeah. the type of guy? It's like an well, old it's an accent. accent. It's an accent. It's like the old New York Mr. accent. Mr. Feeney, like, like that. Yeah, it's like Mr. I'm Feeney. I'm gay. Yeah. Mr. Matthews, come suck me off. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, we were, we did that on the show, the old New York accent uh-huh. guy. It's like, 
I'm trans now. Oh, yeah. I've become trans. <laughs> yeah, FD, everyone says Teddy Roosevelt was like, ba- you know, badass. And he, I guess he was, but he talked pretty, pretty he bitch, talked like bitch that? made. Yeah, yeah. No, he didn't. Yeah, huh? No, yeah, he yeah. had a like a voice like this. No, that's what you imagine. You're confusing he... FDR and Teddy. No, Roosevelt. no, 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 no. FDR. No, no, no. Like I know a... exactly. In fact, when I he- listened to Teddy Roosevelt, I thought, "Wow, this sounds way more like FDR." Are there than recordings of him speaking? Yeah, that's what that's what did it. Because everyone assumes he talks like this because he has that mustache and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he looks like the guy from MythBusters, uh-huh. but he doesn't, dude. He was a genius too. Who, Teddy? Yeah. Yeah, no, he, he used wasn't. to read. Yeah, he used to read like two books a day. That doesn't make you a genius. It I makes think you a guy that reads all a lot books, of books back then were like fucking pulp books about like fucking. He's probably reading like shit about like going to Africa and shit and like, yeah, you know, yeah. shooting elephants for ivory. Like and but he was actually doing that shit. Yeah, yeah, and he was doing it too. His like opinion was that every man should go to war to build character. Well, that's cool. what people used to think. Well, I, Churchill it, thought that Churchill was a fucking warmonger. Yeah, of did course Churchill he was. ever go to war? He seems too fat. But like it was like, in, but up until the 20th century, every generation of men went yeah, to did war. go to war. At least a little skirmish. Let's my a little dad skirmish. said something absolutely like, like pacifists prior. My to. dad said something to me like that, like, "Oh, you, you'll never go to war, so you'll never understand like being a man." I was like, "You never went to war, you fucking pussy!" Like, <laughs> my dad served in the Greek army. That? Yeah, my dad served in the army too. But you you had to you had to serve. You had well, he to do just like did two basic years. training and then yeah. he went to college. Yeah, yeah. My dad did basic training and then went back on the streets, baby. Yeah, maybe Making... we should go participate in a in an armed conflict so we can get. Maybe that should be the next step for us. You want to? Yeah, we'll see if Vice will like shoot a documentary series, but instead of journalists, they just straight up give us guns and cocaine. <laughs> okay, and let mm-hmm. us go to Africa to make it better. Yeah, mm. let's go to Liberia, because uh, everyone sort of speaks English li- there. Uh, Liberia was founded by Liberace, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it's right. A yeah. Country where they're it's obsessed with Liberace. Slaves. <clears throat> yeah, that's, yeah, that's the first. That's the first libertarian republic is yeah. Liberia, the Liberacean Republic of Liberia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you see uh, Mario Batali got accused? Oh of yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a that sexual... one kind of flew under the radar. I know. It's like there's so many now. You know, there's also theories that David Copperfield's a pedophile. Damn. What? Yeah. He'll make your hymen disappear. Basically, anybody who has a private <laughs> island. You yeah. Can't trust. If you have any kind of compound, doesn't, even. <laughs> doesn't he fuck Claudia well, Schiffer? Well, no. Compounds are for racists, islands are for pedophiles. That's true. Mm-hmm. I want a compound. That's right. On an island. Uh oh. Uh, double. The rare double. Yes. Is Branson, you think, a pedophile? Uh, Richard Branson. Yeah. Why would you name your company Virgin unless you're like trying to hide yeah. something? He, well, he says I've never had sex incorporated, <laughs> especially not with children. <laughs> <laughs> not pedophile <Yeah>. airlines, <laughs> uh, Richard. I don't know if we can go with I don't fuck kids LLC. <laughs> Is there something shorter, maybe, that we could use? Um, he he said that he started that because. He was 16 when he started his record company. Yeah, he yeah. Had not had that sex. was his first company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but he definitely fucks kids with Obama when they that's they parasailed. Obama that was his first thing after into he was the president. A little boy's boy pussy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You didn't see that whole picture. Obama's first two things he did was go on vacation. I know that was brutal. And then with come a back and then give a speech to Wall Street. It's so funny. It's like everybody's like you know. Donald Trump drinks 12 Diet Cokes a day, and it's like, who cares? Nobody gives a shit. That's such a non-issue. And then, like, also, at the beginning of the Obama administration, we're like, isn't it cool that Obama smokes? <laughs> right. Everyone's, like, thought it was great that Obama was, like, smoking cigarettes on, like, the the yeah. patio. Also, yeah. well, dude, yeah, young, young, cool, youngish, cool black guy smoking cigs over... Old ass grandpa drinking Enjoying eight diet some Cokes. soda pops. It is yeah. very some funny. Cool, so, it is, cool kids drink soda. Okay? It is yeah. very funny. If you're a kid out um, there listening to this show, you know you're ten yeah, years old. Exactly. <laughs> Don't drink water. <laughs> you drink drink soda. Yeah. soda. First of all, you say thank thank your mom and dad for buying you Come Town Premium. That's mm-hmm. right. <laughs> Number one, you're on a great start. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Emotionally. <laughs> now now we're trying to match you physically with what you're doing to yourself Listen. psychologically. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you if a child listens to this show, you might as well just feed them fucking soda and Mountain candy Dew. and shit. Yeah. Straight up. Mm, and yeah. we know Christmas is around the corner, so stocking stuffers, if you are a parent, you could get your kids oh, a Patreon you know what you account. should? You know, you know you should get them? Some Stavi Baby merch. 
I got oh. two t-shirts out there, boys and yeah, girls. Yeah. It's Stavi shop. I got a real stocking stuffer right here. I'm Stop. talking about my dick. Ladies, what? let me put my, let me fuck your shoes. Let me put <laughs> you my dick in. We should fuck your socks. socks and shoes. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to fuck some socks. Yeah, yeah but oh. buy my merch. Yeah, he's a nice guy, but he fucked all my socks. <laughs> Did you guys ever beat off into a sock? That was like a go-to move. No, I never I did. Use, you use socks as like fucking... Right. I, I used Cleaning to work, tools. I used to work with this guy, heroin addict, junkie. Nice. Told the story. He cut a hole in his pocket so he could jack yes, off. Yes, 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 yes. But he, he told me a story one time that when him and his friend were like 13, they would put socks on each other's dicks and jack each other off. And he's like, because <laughs> it wasn't gay because we weren't actually touching. <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes we put on condoms yeah, and fuck each other in the ass. <laughs> yeah, they weren't touching. It's not, you know, it was safe. We're not touching. A anything. hazmat suit, but uh, you cut a slit out and pull yeah, your dick yeah. out in a condom, and mm-hmm. it's totally straight. You cover it in latex. <laughs> you think there's like Bioshock fetishists that fuck in outside of that suits? little hazmat suit? It would get so hot inside of one of those. Yeah. You're fucking... It would create a little habitat. And you're not in there. touching skin to skin. It's it just get cocks like into so, pussy. Yeah, it gets so steamy in there. Yeah. Oh, boys, good news. What? Patreon has doubled back on their decision to raise prices without asking. Really? I knew it. Damn, swag. I knew it. Damn, the dick is big. Well, congratulations to. We did it. Us for our brave stance that we took. Mm-hmm. And Nick's. Really good email he wrote, you guys. Yeah. We messed up. We're sorry. And we're not rolling out the fees. Change. By the way, somebody came to the show the other night and they, they didn't know that there's a premium feed. If you listen yeah, to this we show, need a to start doing do. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. Don't if you know. don't know this, we do two episodes a week. <laughs> there's another episode. That's, there's twice as much come town. Yeah. That's on. That's on. You go to Patreon dot com slash come town and you can subscribe for five dollars a month and get the additional four episodes. Plus, like, video content. Well, you can get the whole archive. That's true. Of premium episodes. Yeah, so and please then, do that for and Christmas. And then every Sunday night, there's a new premium that comes out. Yeah. Um, also, as an aside, we had our last show in New York of the year. We're back the 22nd of January. Thank you. Great. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Amazing. Sorry yeah. if you didn't get there early enough because i think yeah we sold out a lot of people the were turned away and uh we were very touched by the amount of love and support even that guy that um that that was yo and also was, didn't like me hold on hold like, on hold on let me read this okay creators and patrons first of all i don't want to hear the word creator anymore that's yeah that's right. awful <laughs> I'm um, damn creator. I, I, I i prefer entrepreneur mm-hmm. you know i'm only saying? a creator art art tra- a art entrepreneur entrepreneur Entrepreneur. N- entrepreneur. That's <laughs> what you w- shall refer to me as. We heard you loud and clear. We're not going to roll out the changes to our payment system that we announced last week. We still have to fix the problems that those changes addressed, but we're going to fix them in a different way, and we're going to work with you to come up with the specifics, as we should have done the first time around. Many of you lost patrons and you lost income. No apology will make up for that. But nevertheless, I'm sorry. It is our core belief that you should own the relationships with your fans. These are your businesses and they are your fans. They're saying the right shit. This is all right. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to, I'm going to just ad lib some extra stuff in here. I'm gay and I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Can't believe you'd admit that. That's right. brave. No, that's brave. I think that's brave. I think that's brave. Uh, <laughs> I spent hours and hours on the phone with creators and so has the Patreon team. Your feedback has been crystal clear. The new payment system are disproportionately impacted $1 to $2 patrons. We have to build a better system for them. Aggregation is highly valued and we underestimated that. Fundamentally, creators should own the business decisions with their fans, not Patreon. We overstepped our bounds and injected ourselves into that relationship. Okay, and Patreon. Core belief is a business. Yeah, I mean, they're owning up to it. Yeah, that's, that's great. Right. And they're saying exactly what the fucking problems were. Um, Trayvon Martin was a thief. He didn't steal anything. Yeah. He was whoa. just wearing a hoodie. I'm just going to scroll past that part. <laughs> um... This may be controversial, but Babe 2 was better than the first one. No, oh, come on. Wow. That, what's wrong with these they people? They just don't... Yeah, they don't understand. Yeah. Tell them to... Sh- this is effed out. Quit while you're ahead, yeah. okay? This is effed out. This is effed out. Yep. <laughs> this is effed out. <laughs> Yo, this is freaking effed out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> freaking effed. this is freaking effed man i'm freaking having sex dude, oh that also podcast also yeah guys oh probably the God. only podcast better than ours god let's I hope... do a plug huh let's should plug we should, yeah we should plug, plug them? 
a faking it radio. There are two guys mm-hmm. that I guess are just fans of Baltimore. No, come Comedy. on. Don't like tell them these people the actual name of their show. Is it too late now? Yeah, it is too late. But like nobody watches that show. It's going to have like a flood of <laughs> Go yes, on fucking time. people. I mean, I don't even know these guys. I don't I've either. Known, I've done, I do this shit with Tom Myers. I've known Tom Myers like 15 what, fucking years. What, a plug years. is bad for getting a little traffic? You, 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 them you hits. know goddamn well <laughs> that you're just fucking laughing no. at these guys. Yeah, because it's funny. No, it is funny. Dude, this is like, that's like borderline like All right. related harassment. It's, it's called like, something guys else. Guys I don't know. There's other people that we do that shit that, yeah, it's called Guys We Fucked. Go yeah. listen to that one. <laughs> Well, it's called Two Dope Queens, and... The Tom Myers well, thing I excuse because, again, I've known Tom a long time. Tom's been doing comedy. He has, like, a public persona. Like, it's very easy to find Tom. Other people have mentioned Tom before in the context right. that we have. Right, right, I'm right. not, like, discovering, right. like, you know, two people that... Well, are, are you going to edit it out or no? No, I'm not going to edit it out because I'm okay. fucking lazy. But all in right. the future, like, okay, all right, all just right. be mindful of, like, the fact that a lot of people listen to the show and it's not cool to, like... I guess because there's ways around. If you want, you can make fun of somebody and just be vague about it, and then like the real psychopaths will figure out who the fuck you're talking. Right, about. right, but, right. You know, don't just like put. Just somebody... a good, yeah. Don't. It's a bad podcast. It's good. <laughs> it's, it's really good. good. <laughs> it, I love it, but uh, <laughs> I guess I. It's I don't love things for real anymore. <laughs> I just yeah. I can only like bad. Yeah, things. I can't like good things. <laughs> it sucks. The only good thing I like anymore is the National Basketball Association. Stav and I went to Wait, a basketball game. Wait, that's what game. it stands for? <laughs> yeah. I thought it said, boo, <laughs> and apes. <laughs> um, well, gang, uh, we also have a show at fucking, uh, in D.C. on the 22nd. Big, big show at the Black Cat. All three boys will be there. Um, we'll be having a nice fat show for you. So please come out to that. And if it sells well, and even if it doesn't, probably, we'll we'll probably hit the road. Yeah. Uh, Dude, I'm excited to go on the road. We got a I'm loving doing spots. We got to book it, baby. 2018 is going to be the year of us going out to Dude, this I'm, beautiful I'm country. I'm a fucking spot head. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're I love doing I'm comedy. Talking, I'm not talking, <laughs> you're not about, talking about Kaposi Indian? sarcoma this time. <laughs> a lot of people used to call me spothead when I let my AIDS get too... I let my AIDS <laughs> flare up. Sometimes I get off prep for a while just to see... I like to... I call it riding the razor's edge. You know what I mean? I get oh. my T-cell down, count down to like 15. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I've never felt more loved. Oh, yeah. I love just getting high off having AIDS. <laughs> well, there was a... The That's prep why they bit, do it. That is a prep like that we were doing. It's like windsurfing. Remember we were saying how what were you saying, Nick? It's a guy who take what is he? He takes prep so that he uh, just in case he does some gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was the thing I was saying. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll take that shit just in case I'm do not, tempted. Do not do not say this to me. Um, also, I'm in Boston this Saturday, the 16th. Still some tickets left. Please come out. Are you your laugh, Boston? The House of Blues. No, I'm doing the small room at the House of Blues. Are you headlining? Yeah. Damn, I gotta start doing more headlining spots. Yeah, I gotta um, I gotta build a new hour though, cause I don't I fucking. Well, that's why we should go on tour. We'll all do like a half hour. Yeah, and we'll fucking build that shit. shit. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see if somebody will feature me. For sure. Thing is, I never I never went on the road with anybody. I was just in with clubs, and I right. like I don't have a relationship with clubs anymore. Dog, let's just go on I the sent road. That email. Well, instead of featuring <laughs> for someone, let's just go the three of us. We have red. enough people that, are, that yeah. We, we all do a half hour. We do feature time. Yeah, it's like dear club owners and bookers. Very few of you are familiar with this man, Richard Spencer, but I think he is the future. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's only 2014, and we don't know what's going to happen. But he says wow, you were on him things. that early. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. Nick's got a whole like pro- white supremacy prospects. Yeah. Like <laughs> Colton actually was one of them. Colton Burpo or what was his name? Keaton. Keaton, Keaton Burpo. Buster and Skeeter. Yeah. What, what were the guys? We had Skeeton. a lot of we had a lot of half hearted jokes on this episode. <laughs> I thought uh, walk yeah. through again. If you guys I thought Beaton like. and Skeeton was uh, the best joke in the episode. Yeah. How about Buster Skeeton? Buster that Skeeton. guy already had a pretty nutted up. Nut. <laughs> That's true. It, on the nut, on the yeah. nut index, Buster, he's up there. Bust, Bust, Buster Skeeton. Buster Skeeton. <laughs> that guy. That guy. Wow. Remember that thing, thing where uh, the, a building falls on him and then he comes. 
You should host a show on Turner Classic Movies. <laughs> where you're like, remember when Charlie Chaplin, he's like, he's trying to, but the Murphy bed won't close. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Folks. <laughs> remember, good. uh, uh, um, Fuck. Uh, yeah, there you go. Groucho Marx. Thanks for uh, the, listening, everybody. The, the, the mirror thing he does. <laughs> mirror when... Uh, and he's like, it's a guy. It's, it's another guy. And Groucho's <laughs> tricking him to make him think it's a mirror instead of him. Is that a memory of like being like a little kid and White Men Can't Jump came on like Fox? I used like to love that movie. Primetime Fox. Kid. And I was watching it at my uncle's house. And my uncle lived in like Jersey outside of Philly. And the movie started, and my parents are like, we got to go home. And I'm like, but I'm like, I just started watching this. And they're like, it'll still be on when you get home because of the time zone change. <laughs> and I was like, really? And they're like, yeah, of course. It'll be two hours earlier when we get home. To Maryland? Yeah. And then we got there, and of course it was like later. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? You just lied to me? <laughs> and they were like, yeah, we're not going to stay there so you can watch white men. <laughs> Some fucking... Seven year old's whim. <laughs> <laughs> My dad did that to me with The Simpsons. It was like on at like eight thirty on Sundays, and yeah. like I guess my bedtime was eight thirty or something. Yeah. And so he's like, "Yeah, I'll get them to change it." His for dad you. just comes up from the basement and his like shirts off, and he's got a boxing gloves on, and his <laughs> nose is bleeding. The kangaroo, a little bit, and there's like a, just a bunch of cum all over his mouth, and he's like, "It's bedtime. <laughs> Turn the telly off. <laughs> Don't come down in the basement." <laughs> He's <laughs> fighting <laughs> kangaroos. <laughs> oh uh, no, I lost again. <laughs> uh, zero, oh, and a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> My dad has gotten beat up by a lot of kangaroos. <laughs> All right, folks. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs>